how I do Let go of a prayer for you Just a sweet word The table is prepared for you Well, I just want to say congratulations to the lovely couple. Uh, Brittany, Lord have mercy, we talked about this shit when we were younger. You know, in fact, we never suspected that it was actually going to happen. And you suspected you wasn't going to be the first, but clearly you are. Serious note, I was the first one to meet you officially before anybody else. <laughs> Let's get that straight. That's when back in the day when me and Brittany was living with each other. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know. I understand y'all had y'all ups, y'all had y'all downs, but I know that y'all truly love each other and y'all have a genuine passion for each other. So just always remember that. Always reflect back on the the times when it was dire and the love ultimately. And I wish y'all nothing but the best. Happy wedding day, Philip and Brittany. Brittany, you look absolutely gorgeous today. I was so happy for you. You both picked really great people to be with and you also picked really great people to share your lives with. We're all so excited to share your special day and have a great wedding. Love, there's so many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Cause there's a possibility that you look at me differently, love Ever since the first moment I spoke your name From then on I knew that by you being in my life Things were destined to change cause love Many people use your name in vain Love Those who have faith in you sometimes go astray Who gives this woman to be married to this man? They've been together, the love and understanding of each other have grown and matured, and now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Earlier today, we experienced a lot of rain, and we experienced a storm. A lot of times in life, that's how it is, and that's how it will also be in marriage. But look at it now, what a great day that God has gave us, and we get to witness this union together. Join me as I pray. Heavenly Father, we begin by thanking you for this day. Love has been your richest and greatest gift to the world. Love between a man and a woman, which matures into marriage, is one of your most beautiful types of love. And today we celebrate that love. May your blessings be upon this couple and this wedding service. Protect them, guide them, bless Brittany and Philip in their marriage, surround them and throughout the year, and may your love endure forever in their marriage. It's in your name, amen. You may be seated. Brittany and Philip, before I read the charge to you, I would like to share some words, some wise words of wisdom from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 7, which reads, Love endures with patience and serenity. Love is kind and thoughtful. It is not jealous or envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not provoked, nor overly sensitive or easily angered. It does not take into account a wrong endured. It does not rejoice in injustice, but rejoices when the truth, with right truth, prevails. 
Love bears all things. Looking for the best in each. Hope all things. Remaining steadfast during difficult times. Endures all things without weeping. Today in the presence of God, family and friends, let me charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be found in mutual consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection. Philip, it is your duty to love Brittany as yourself. Provide tender leadership and protect her from danger. Brittany, it is your duty to treat Philip with respect, support him, and create a healthy, happy home. It is the duty of both of you to find the greatest joy in the company of each other. To remember that in both interest and affection, that you are to be one and undivided. I will now do the pledge. Brittany and Philip, you have made a very serious and important decision in choosing to marry each other today. You are entering into a sacred covenant as life partners in God. The quality of your marriage will reflect what you put into nurturing this relationship. You have the opportunity to go forward from this day to create a faithful, kind, and tender relationship. We bless you on this day. It is up to you to keep the blessings flowing each and every day of your lives together. We wish you the wisdom, compassion, and strength to create a peaceful sanctuary in which you both can grow and love. Philip, do you understand and accept this responsibility? And do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage for as long as you both shall live? Philip acknowledged by stating, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> He's happy today. <laughs> Do you understand and accept this responsibility? And do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving and happy marriage as long as you both shall live? Brittany, acknowledge by stating, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> She's just as happy. <laughs> so you need to get on with this thing. <laughs> I will now share a reading to emphasize the commitment Brittany and Philip are making to each other. The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue throughout the years. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It is not looking for, the per for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and for the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Philip and Brittany, if you will face each other. Brittany, repeat after me. I, Brittany. I, Brittany. Take you, Philip. Take you, Philip. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have, to have and, to hold, and to hold from this day forward. From this day forward. 
for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I pledge you my love and faithfulness. Philip, repeat after me. I, Philip. I, Philip. Take you, Brittany. Take you, Brittany. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. Or for worse. Or for worse. For richer. For richer. Or for poor. Or for poor. In sickness. Sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Till death. Till death. Do us part. Do us part. I pledge you. I pledge you. My love and faithfulness. My love and faithfulness. May I have the rings. These wedding rings are a symbol of eternity. It is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. Just as these rings are made of precious metals, may your love always remain in the same manner. And just as these rings are a perfect circle having no beginning and no end, may your love follow suit, lasting forever. And now, as a token of your love, Philip, before placing the ring on the finger of your bride, please repeat after me. Brittany. <coughs> Brittany. With this ring, with this ring, I be with. I be with. You may place the ring on the finger. <coughs> By the same token, Brittany, before placing the ring on the finger of your groom, please repeat after me. Philip, Philip. With, this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. You may place the ring on his finger. This time, if you would, face me. receiving each of a ring by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ according to the laws of the state of Louisiana I pronounce that they are husband and wife together what God has brought together let no man take apart I ask you now to seal the promises you have made each to each other this day with a kiss Philip you may now kiss your bride Bye. 
it. We're a party, babe. Yeah. <laughs> They got me doing a little bit of everything. Starting fires, <laughs> buying beer cakes. All right, so I'm Reggie, Phil's brother, best man. So I'll keep it short and sweet. Brittany, you're already a part of the family. This just yeah. makes it official, and we couldn't be happier. I'm so excited for all the blessings that will continue to come your way as a couple. And on behalf of my beautiful wife, Courtney, we want to say anything you guys ever need, whether it be advice or just a sounding board or even money, don't hesitate to call Brian and Sharon Arsenal. We love y'all. Y'all raise the toast. Congratulations. Much of a joy, you bring that much joy to him as well. And I was telling him this earlier when I started tearing up when I was over there. I'm like, I saw him when he was young, and then to grow into where he is now. And I like literally had that flashback looking at him. And I'm like, this man is happy to see you walk down there. He, his love that he saw in you, I felt. And I started tearing up myself. I'm like, man, I'm just so happy to see him happy that much. And you bring that to him. You good. <laughs> You good. I love both of y'all. Thank you so much. Um, next to my brother. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm Ross, uh, the oldest of the three. Uh, I will talk on behalf of Brittany because much like my other cousin, Phil Shayla, you have a lot of that type of energy wear. Me and you are talking a lot more than me and Phil do. So like, we talk a lot, whether it's, and I want to give her her flowers because I had an ACL surgery about a year ago. And she helps me out non-stop. Like, I'll ask her, hey, how do I do this? What do I do that? And she'll give me a whole list of things to do and then, like, go above and beyond with what I was just asking. So I really appreciate that. But one thing I did notice today was when we were about to take the pictures, Phil, you probably noticed this, cause, probably not because you see this all the time, but the way that she looked at you, I do a lot of photography and video myself. So I see a lot of weddings, I see a lot of uh, maternity pictures and stuff like that. But I, when I saw her looking at him, after all this stuff, it was just like love hearts all around her her head, like cartoons and stuff. So that really made me feel good to see on the other side that I know Phil loves you as much, but to see without words and explanation and seeing all that stuff, how much you love him is really powerful. And I'm happy to see that. So I'm happy for Phil. I'm happy for both of y'all. I can't see what the year is bringing for y'all. So I just want to say I'm happy for that and I love y'all. So congratulations and just wait to see what happens next. Everything that both that both of them just said, I'm Chris, I'm the youngest one. And um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. But I love you guys. Phil's always been there for me. And he's been a great cousin and everything. I love you because you're already part of the family before you've been part of the family. They are cool. I love the ADHD vibes because, you know, we are here. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, yeah, I hope y'all just stay together for a long time and love each other 
unconditionally and just stay fun. I'm glad. I'm glad this part of family is all fun too because yeah, sure. some people do not marry into fun family. So like, I appreciate all y'all. Appreciate all y'all. Round of applause. Yeah, thank you. And the three guys who just saw it goes wild with their sucks. Okay, but uh, I can't say nothing to you that my sons has not already said that. Except I will say this, like with Brandon and Sam, when y'all are standing, looking at each other, you know, to hear you talk, it came from here. Stern, and strong, and soft. And this young man, he was holding your hand, he was like, tell the Reverend, hurry up, I want to kiss him, let's get this thing done. And it reminds me of me and my wife when we first got married. You know, so we've been married 35 years. Those are our three sons, and we love you. You already know you like the son of me already. And so I got a daughter. So, hey, seriously, now I'll let my wife talk. So, y'all got a little perspective of what y'all were doing from everybody else's perspective. And it was beautiful. Congratulations, and stay in love. Love one another, and pray for one another. Always. Congratulations. Vinitra, I'd rather go by Vinny. I don't really care for my government name like that. Um, but, back story, I met Brittany at East St. John. I'm sorry we both had to go to that school. It was not a fun time. <laughs> I met Philip through Brittany. And I will, I don't care. I will tell y'all, when she told me about Philip, I was like, um, okay. <laughs> All right, you know, and y'all know how people have, you know, they little back and forth and they new relationships. And I was just like, but do I have to go to jail? It was a question I asked her multiple times. But the day she texted me and she showed me her finger and she said that uh, Philip proposed to her, I was like, for real? And the way he proposed, and she was like, he played like he had an injury or like something was wrong with him. And she was just like, what's wrong with you? Y'all know how Brittany is. <laughs> it was like a, um, what's wrong with you? But stupid was in parentheses. <laughs> so it was just like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not dealing with it. But you know, I'm glad you did it, uh, y'all. But um, I'm glad y'all together. I'm glad we can like come in your house and eat s'mores and things. Um, I'm glad we could. I'm sorry, Philip, but you are like for the rest of your life. You have to deal with me. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> um, but beautiful union, two completely opposite people coming together, and. Um, I wish y'all the best, and when it's time to start having kids, just know, only send them to me. <laughs> to only send them to TT Vinny when it's like for two days. <laughs> After 48 hours, they're going back. And I'm sending them high off of sugar. I wish y'all the best of luck. Um, yeah, love y'all. I'm not really good at speeches, y'all. I am a uh, socially awkward, but I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing the thing over here. All right, so uh, y'all, um, just <laughs> sit tight. We um, gonna have some cake for y'all. Um, we gonna have some cupcakes. We gonna have a lot of things going on. Um, can we play some old Tucker, please? <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> I'm really glad, actually, that Vinny brought up government names because a lot of you in here, this might be your first time seeing me and you might be like, that's a sister of the bride, Kristen, Christian, whatever her name is. But if you really know, my government name is Brittany Ann. It was Brittany Ann Kristen for a very long time. Brittany Kristen this, Brittany Kristen that, Brittany Kristen. I could have sworn, where is she, Auntie Chanel, when she was officiating, she was like, we are gathering here today, da 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 and I was like, were you about to say Brittany and Kristen? <laughs> because I heard it, yeah. Um, but really, I love you both so dearly. And, 
you know, even though I'm really sad to be giving up the Brittany and moniker, Philip, there's no other person that I would be more proud to share it with. So here's to Brittany and Philip now. to be in this unit because I seen it from the jump. Okay, I was here through the ups, the downs, the lows, the hoes, the highs, all of it. Um, like I said, Philip, you have been a addition to our family. We love you dearly. We appreciate the love and the support that you give to Brittany through her hard times, through her good times, through everything. Um, Brittany, or we could talk. Oh, we talk about this. Oh wow. Um, uh, like I said, you. Yeah, trust us in my heart. I love you dearly. And like I said, we should have the best love. Yeah. We love you. I love you. Hi, everyone. My name is Janae. I'm one of Brittany Soares from Nebraska. When she came and moved there with Philip. Um, Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shea, also a Nebraska Soar. Um, so I just wanted to come here and say I'm so proud of Brittany and Philip. I remember when they came to Nebraska, and I always talk about this all the time because Brittany was coming into our chapter, and so, you know, I had this different person coming into, you know, my environment as chapter president, and I was like, I don't know who she is, I don't know where she come from, but she definitely fit in so perfectly. She was definitely an addition to our chapter, and she was so beautiful, such a beautiful spirit. Um, she definitely came with that twang with her. I was like, okay, hold on, kill it. Like, you know, but um, that's one thing I definitely loved about her. But she was such a sweetheart, such a great person, willing to always help out anybody in need. Um, but I wanted to share a moment, and I don't know if Brittany remembers, that we had a chapter meeting. And for some reason, we got off topic, and we were talking about Philip. We were talking about relationships, actually. And she was like, yeah, you know, I've been with Philip for, you know, X amount of years. And I was like, okay, girl. I see you, y'all about to get married. Or I was like, do you think y'all gonna get married? And she was like, it's not if, it's when. I said, okay now. <laughs> All right, you better speak it into existence. So to see that moment now, I was like, I remember that chapter meeting and that's like three years ago, four years ago, I don't know. But you know, to now be here and celebrate that, that's just such a beautiful moment. And Philip, we, well, we don't work together at Boys Town, but we linked up. That's we linked up. He gave, I didn't have a car at the time, but he gave me a ride to one of my um, my trainings, and I was like, you in there for life, bro. <laughs> I couldn't miss one more training. So, um, and I just thank him for that, and we always talk about how bad them kids is, but, you know, but I thank both of y'all for being in our lives and just being such a beautiful couple, so I'm so happy for y'all, and congratulations. Thank you. And I'll just add um, another congratulations, and um, I just love the time that I was able to have with Brittany in Nebraska, we're hanging out, um, you know, going dancing and everything, um, and then just also being welcomed into your home. So yeah. just <laughs> congratulations. Love y'all so much. Thank you. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm Brian, I'm Brittany's little brother. Um, it's an emotional day for me. I have to pass on my full-time role of knowing Brittany. <laughs> um, held it down for 23 years, had a good run. <laughs> All I really have to say is have fun, don't be stupid. Do that. Philip, 
from the first day that I met you, it was obvious that you were a great person and you were a perfect person to be a son-in-law. And I am extremely proud yes, sir. to have you as a son-in-law. <laughs> so, you know, welcome to the family. Brittany, very proud. You beautiful and I just I'm, I'm just so happy that you found someone like Philip and you guys are gonna have a great life together. I, I absolutely know it. So you, know, you guys take care of each other, love each other, and just you know be happy because you deserve it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Boy, y'all can't see it because I'm cold. Um, but Philip, this is for you as somebody who joins. Um, you know, Brittany and the rest of her friends, you're finally welcome. <laughs> he knows what that means. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you for gleefully and eagerly participating in everything that it means to be a part, a part of Brittany. Thank you for happily participating in the rest of our lives as you know you do. If you know, you know. Um, Thank you for being a part of my life and making somebody who I love from the bottom of my heart so happy and being the opposite to whatever she is in any given way. So I thank you. I'm happy for you. And I wish you all nothing but the absolute best. And I love you very dearly. So, my wife and I. The ceremony was fantastic. The dinner and the dancing, fantastic. We got some more We're going downtown after this. Can you know if you want to come? It'll be fantastic as well. But I really appreciate everybody from the way staff and you guys, everybody coming out and making this day really special for Brittany and I. Yes, sir. So, I really appreciate it. One, two, three.